All right, today we head from cloudy, rainy New York to sunny, gorgeous Bermuda. Come on board, let's go flying. What, no cookies? flying here from gloomy White Plains to sunny Bermuda. Now we got good friend Brian, who's uh, been doing a lot of flights with us, so welcome aboard Brian. Thank you. And uh, welcome aboard everyone, about an hour and 45 minutes to, uh, to nice Bermuda. All right, so auction is in on my side, I see it's in on your side. Yep. Breakers are good online, nothing's popped, nothing's yours. Super gens are off for the start. We're on a GPU today. Everything's put in the box. Parking brake is set. Chocks have been removed. Door high closed. The AC is definitely off. We got 28 volts. And we'll clear your side. Yep, clear we're your side. Here we go. Ignition N2. It's uh, interesting. It was eight degrees cooler on on Wednesday. 60 degrees hotter. Yeah, today with it being. Uh, it's good, relays out. Left. Ready to go. Yeah, he was. Got me? Bye bye, fine? Yep. Right, Loud and clear. clear. Alright, there we go. Do a gen check. Right, it's coming on. Taking the load. Left. Takes the load. Left takes the load now. Parallel. Off. <sighs> One, two, three times set. I'm up on my side. I'm down. Down. I'm up. I'm down. Free and correct. Flaps. <sighs> Up, 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 and down. Down. Up, up, down. And down. All right. Admission's not needed. Avionics are set. Westchester 7 has brief 3,000 off of 1, 6. 1, 6 3 heading, 800 feet. Right turn 320. We're stopping at 3,000. Don't exceed 190 knot until established on that heading. Hey, guys, how you doing? 3,000, I see it both sides. Terminators are set, speeds are posted. Back to go. I'm ready to start one here if we can at the gate three. Okay, just behind the regional jet then. All right, we'll do it as he goes, after he goes by. Uh, 15, 16, 17. All right. Ground, good morning. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot at Ross East Juliet for taxi, please. Citation to Romeo Foxtrot, which is the ground. Good morning, runway 34. Taxi via Alpha and hold short of taxi via Golf. All right, Alpha, short of Golf, going to 34 to Romeo Foxtrot. All right, we got to switch up the box because they just changed the runways. Clear left, clear right. Here we go. I mean, to switch it while we taxi, or are you going to get yeah, it? Yeah, you could, sure. Yeah. I'm up. I am outside. Using some uh, bleed air on the windshield here to clear some of the water away, which it's doing a good job. And we can see.
Alpha sure to golf. All right, we reloaded it here. Thank you. Still 3,000 on the sit. Runway heading 1,000 feet, left turn 295. I'll reset 295 for the vector, which is set. We're coming up on golf here. Test my brakes here. Test yours. And back to you. Mark. All right, mine are good. Taxi checks, lights are good. Station 2, Romeo Foxtrot, continue on Alpha, cross runway 2-9 or an 8 kilo is now current. All right, we'll pick up kilo, continue on Alpha, clear across 2-9 and 3-4 into Romeo Foxtrot. Have a great day. You too, Max. See ya. All right, that's our good friend up there in Washington Tower. Clear left. 1557, go ahead. I just want to make sure we're clear of that traffic for really. the All right, nose wheel steering is checked. We'll do a better uh, bias here. You can go ahead and when you're ready to push. 1567, thank you. Lights are off. Thank you. Before takeoff here, ice protection is not needed. Seats, we're good. Speed brakes are down on my side. And mine down. Trims one, two, three times are set. Crew briefing. So it's a wet day. It's, it's low here. We can still get back in. If we have anything or on fire, any severe flight control issue, we'll come back land here. ILS uh, probably be one six. Um, three, four, the men's are a little bit higher. Um, if there is anything that's not a severe issue, but we need to, we can't continue to Bermuda, let's plan on going to uh, Stewart, as we always kind of plan. Maintenance there, service center, and go around button is set. Or departure, we should be doing too. Sounds good, I see the VNAV at 3000. All right. Again, everyone, welcome on board. Heading to Bermuda. We are next to go here, holding short runway at 34 on Alpha. Tower, good morning. Citation to Romeo Fox, just holding short 3 4, ready in sequence. Citation to Romeo Fox, West West Tower, good morning, wind 2804, runway 3 4, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 3 4, to Romeo Fox, shot. Heats and lights to go, engine instruments are clear, no messages. Clear left. Alright. You happy? I think everything looks good. Alright. Forty-eight eighty is what we're taking off with. Forty-six past the hour. Stable. Take up power set achieved. Two good engines. Airspeed's building both sides. Seventy with the check. V one. Rotate. Positive rate gear up. Two and ten. Flaps up, yaw dampener, flight level change, climb power, engines coming on. Citation to Romeo Fox, your left hand turn, contact New York departure 120.8, have a good flight. 20.8 to Romeo Fox, good day. Perfect, thanks. Nick Departure, how you doing? Citation to Romeo Fox, 1700 climbing to 3000 on the Westchester. Two Romeo Fox, Nick Departure, we're to contact, climb maintain 7000 and turn left heading 270. All right, 7000 and left turn 270 to Romeo Fox, chat. All right, heading select 7000, here we go. I see 7000. Two Romeo 496, turn right heading 270. All right, 270, Romeo 496. Gears up, flaps are up, puddles are climbing. Safety switch is good. Lights will go recog. Twenty point four, citation to Romeo Fox. Have a great day. Nick departure, good morning, citation to Romeo Fox shot four thousand five hundred climbing seven thousand two seventy heading. Citation to Romeo Fox, New York turn left heading one eight zero, LaGuardia altimeter two nine or seven eight. All right, 2978, left turn 180 to Romeo Fox Drive. 78. Uh, Departure shot by 928, passing 2.5 for 5,340 on the heading. Southwest 928, New York Departure Radar Contact Line to maintain 15,000. I'm the 15,000, Southwest 928. The usual 180 heading. Yeah. I want to go. Romeo Fox Drive, maintain 8,000. Citation to Romeo Fox Drive, maintain 8,000. 8,000. I see it. See the inversion? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just going to leave the engines on. Want to go. To 
Romeo Foxtrot, direct JFK, resume navigation. Direct JFK, own nav to Romeo Foxtrot, thanks. Direct Kennedy, nav. It is cloudy. Should be a nice breakout though. It should. If I was a betting man, 35 decimal nine is going to be next. Southwest 928, turn left heading 280, departure 20.85. Good day. I had a good buddy of mine who was asking he wanted to listen on live ATC. And I was telling him it's going to be 20.8, 20.4, 30 30 30.5.9, 28.3. Like, he's like, have you done this before? Like, yeah, just about 10 times in the past month. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few times. Just a few times. This is the uh, the main mission of the CJ3 Plus. This is the main reason why we upgraded, is to be able to fly my... 35.9er, good day. 35.9, 2 Romeo Foxtrot, Um. So, it's uh, great to be able to use the plane for the mission. Contact New York Center, 128.3, so long. 28.3, bye guys. Bye. New York, how you doing? Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot, 8,000, Greg Kennedy. Two Romeo Foxtrot, call and maintain one two twelve thousand. One two twelve thousand. Two Romeo Foxtrot. Twelve thousand. I see twelve. So it's great to be able to use the plane for the mission, and uh, we've done what me and you've done what well, six trips in the past yeah. six weeks, and I've done I don't know eight trips in the past thirty days. It's been it's been really really busy. It's been but it's been good. The hours are racking up. It's racking up. Oh, what's interesting though is every time we do this, they just do something just a little bit different. We never yeah. get the same, you know what I mean? Which is kind of interesting because there's always some, you know, you can imagine some traffic sometimes or whatever. Sometimes before JFK, sometimes yeah. go over JFK. We've been clear direct ship from here. Interesting, one to go. But I hope everyone's been enjoying the uh, the new plane so far and uh, very excited to continue to share the, the journey with everyone. It's been, uh, been pretty awesome. You know, feel super comfortable in the airplane. It's the same avionics. Um, really just some very minor differences with uh, some systems and obviously have bigger engines, but uh, be able to climb to 45,000 feet, be able to do, you know, 0.73. It's uh, definitely nice, the speed, but I think, Brian, you probably agree with this. It's pretty much the exact same airplane as the M2 from a cockpit point layout, but it's all the same. same. Yeah. It is the uh, same type rating. The 525S, so it's I do have the single pilot endorsement on the on the airplane. They use one simulator for both types in flight safety and in true. Exactly. So I did a. Two Romeo Foxtrot, proceed direct ship. Thanks, direct ship. Two Romeo Foxtrot. Um, nav ship is in. There we go. I see ship. So I uh, did about a day and a half differences training where we do anything from uh, engine Station fires. Two Romeo Foxtrot, contact New York Center one two eight point three. Good day. 28.3, to Romeo Foxtrot, great day. New York, how you doing? Citation, to Romeo Foxtrot, one two twelve thousand direct ship. Citation, to Romeo Fox, New York, Center, climb to one seven thousand. Seventeen thousand, to Romeo Foxtrot. Seventeen's in, so you're will change. So it's, uh, it was down in Tampa about a uh, day and a half there. Single engine stuff, a lot of just learning. Check at 141, Papa, Some minor start. differences, but uh, overall it was the usual kind of training, just as you do a recurrent training. It was uh, actually very good to kind of stay fresh. And as I just went for my type rating, not that long ago it was really felt super, super uh, natural. And everything was just super by the books and standard. As uh, they say, SOP, standard operating procedure. So it was good. 2774, clear direct Yazoo. Direct Yazoo, Delta 2774. Been studying for my ATP written exam and uh, going in for my ATP CTP course in about, uh, about two weeks now in uh, Morristown at CAE. So we're going to be doing that, which is going to be uh, going to be a lot of fun. Excited. I think we're going to be doing it in the Global 6000 simulator is where we do some of our sim time. So gonna get that done.
do the uh, written exam shortly after that, and then straight back into okay, recurrent you. in the uh, citation. Okay. And we'll be getting the, uh, the air transport pilot multi-engine rating added on top of my license. As I do have a commercial license now, we added an air transport pilot license. So, excited for that. Uh, keep uh, the ratings going, continue to learn, contact Washington Center, one, three, and uh, continue one, to uh, become a better pilot. So it's one, two, three, one, two, exciting times seven, ahead for sure. One, three, three, one, two. One, three, three, one, two, Delta 27. Want to go. I got nothing on my wing. It's still clean over here, too. It's still warm. I can't believe it's six degrees up here at seven. Yeah, it's crazy. This time of year. So we're on the way to pick up uh, Citation Dad, and then we'll be uh, flying back later tonight. We have been, uh, we're clearing customs in Newark, and then our good friends at Morristown uh, Ops uh, told us that, hey, we can clear customs there, which we didn't think we could. So we've been now going to Morristown quite a bit, clearing customs there, and then repositioning back to, uh, uh, back to White Plains until we land after midnight. We, uh, White Plains Customs is closed, unfortunately, so what we've been doing it's been actually really really good it's been pretty easy exactly 141 papa contact it's kind of been our been our routine recently but a big shout out all right uh direct dumper and up to flight level 190 nav 19. see every time it's different brian every time every time Eighteen standard standards. What happened to the breakout, Brian? It's gonna, it'll, it'll be it's, there. It's gonna come eventually. Okay. Two Romeo <laughs> Fox, I maintain flight level two nine or zero. I maintain two nine zero. Citation two Romeo Fox. Thanks. I'm curious what the tops of this stuff is. It said on the uh, on the Colt uh, World Fuel report forty one. So the one cool thing about Bermuda, which is which is kind of unique, is we go oceanic, which basically means we go off VHF to high frequency HF, and uh, we have to do our reporting points. We uh, use again, different frequencies, HF frequencies, cell call, getting a little bit on the windshield here. Delta twenty five seventy one, climbing to flight level two three zero. Wings coming on. Oh, there you go, Brian. As promised. All right, wings are on. I'm gonna put the tail on here for a second. And it's all coming off. See how it dropped? It went from nine to minus one. Pretty quickly, too. Yep. Over two Romeo Fox, contact New York Center, 133.5. 33.5, Charlie Fox, shut. See ya. Charlie Fox, New York, good morning. Citation, two Romeo Fox, shut. 21.5, coming to 290. Citation 2, Romeo Fox, on your center, good afternoon, JS, Mr. Squad, correction King, requested altitude there, and your mock speed. You got to give us one second, you Romeo Fox, Jack. All right, he wants the usual King, so right now, let's see here. So right now it's showing on our flight plan, how far is Dumper from King? There we go. Here, I think if we go, yeah, we can change it over to... I'll do it. There we go. All right, so we're a hundred third. See, hundred and eighty-nine miles from King. American eight two five. Sorry, one hundred eighty-six miles. Change now. One eighty-six. Point nine. Have a good day. We're showing seventeen twenty-nine. Do you agree? Yeah, that's what it shows, and I think we so our, our top of climb is between Dumper and Isles. Yeah. So we'll speed up a little bit. I think we'll, we'll I, beat I, that a little bit. I think 27. So we can good. always we can always change it if it's if uh, we give a, an estimate and it's more than three minutes on um, the short side or the long side, we have to let them know. But we're going to say 27. And uh, New York citation at two Romeo Foxtrot, estimating King one seven at two seven Zulu. I'd like to put uh, four five zero on request. Mach decimal seven three. Coming at two Romeo Foxtrot, ro Roger that. Climb maintain four five zero. Maintain Mach point seven three and cruise. All right, thanks. Uh, climb maintain flight level four five zero seven three and cruise to Romeo Foxtrot. Forty five. Sounds good. So there's our first, uh, so he's going to then relay that to Oceanic, which is going to be uh, 
a New York radio and then switching us to HF radio, which is kind of cool. But we are on our way. One of the uh, main reasons why we did upgrade to the CJ3 Plus uh, from the M2 was you would think, okay, the M2 could be able to go, it could do no, no, you know, go no problem from uh, you know White Plains, Bermuda. But the problem was it, it can't go, you, you can get to Bermuda, but you can't get back. So let's say you were on approach and a, an aircraft in front of you had an issue on the runway or the weather was, it suddenly dropped. Um, you wouldn't have enough fuel to be able to even get back to your alternate, which would be either Nantucket or Norfolk, Virginia. So the reason the CJ3 Plus were able to do it is because we can carry enough fuel now to be able to fly all the way to Bermuda, all the way back. If the airport was uh, IFR, we could have enough fuel to still fly to our alternate, plus shoot the approach, go around, fly to our alternate, plus 45 minutes after that. And uh, it's a, uh, a dramatically larger fuel tank. The CJ3 Plus can carry 4,710 pounds of jet A compared to the M2, which is right around 3,300, 3,296 to be exact. So uh, pretty much burning the same amount of fuel at 45,000 feet. The M2 is at 41, so same thing. So it's, uh, again, that's really the, the main reason why the M2 couldn't do it, and why this is really my dad's main mission, and, and why, we had to up, uh, why we upgraded. So, but it's really a, a fuel, needing bigger fuel tanks. All right, I think all the ice is gone now, Brian. Looks good. So hope that uh, explanation kind of uh, helped. All right, so we'll talk to uh, everyone here in a little bit. Now it's gonna get boring. All right, everyone. We are just begun our initial ascent now into uh, into uh, Air France, Bermuda, here. sunny Bermuda, which is nice. We're just getting the ATIS here. We're on New York Center. We're off Oceanic now, and uh, making our making our approach into Bermuda. We're ATCs told us to expect the uh, ILS Zulu runway 30, which is a beautiful approach, kind of this right kind of arcing turn around the island. So I'm excited to show you that. And uh, again, we're on our descent to Bermuda. We're gonna get the descent checklist up here, which is what we use. So descent checklist is here. And that's what we're gonna look at. So descent windshield defog is on. This is Bermuda and it's the air is really, really saturated. It's the temp dew point spreads really close together. Uh, a lot of salt, there's a lot of uh, humidity in the, in the atmosphere, a little bit like South Florida. I'm gonna put the uh, windshield bleeds on. Can open up. Pressurization is set for Bermuda. Altimeters oh, are not yet, so it's getting the ATS here. Dew point one three. QNH one zero two one HPA. Runway report runway three zero. Runway clear and dry. Clear and dry. Clear we like that. Dry. End of information. Hotel. Hotel. LS Wade International Airport, Addis Information Hotel, time 1755, expect all instrument approaches, runway 30, wind 240 degrees, 1 2 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, clouds scattered 3,400 feet, scattered 30,000 feet, temperature 20, nice and warm. TMH1. New York Center Citation, Tiromia Fox, so we do have Adis Hotel. Right. All right, so we're on the moment one RNAV arrival today, so we're planning the 3 zero transition. So we're right now direct moment, and then it's gonna be a left turn, direct capital, and then a bit V, where we'll join the approach. That's what they do every time when they do runway 3 zero. New so York, Edge 195, how long that's what we're planning on. How much longer do we stay with you? Uh, about two or three more minutes. 
Eyeless Zulu, me and Brian already briefed it, but it is the Eyeless Zulu 3-0. We'll take it from mid view. And then 1,500 feet until we get on the approach will be low glide slope established once we are uh, over at Cabo. Minzer 254, which we won't need today, but we do have the bugged one, two, two times. And uh, we're coming down the hill. Landing data. Okay, runway 30, we're a 12,000 pound airplane landed. That's 750 okay, pounds okay, exactly. or so below our here. max landing weight. Uh -huh. Yeah, the uh, landing air controller told us to try 8825HS just south of Bermuda. That's what you guys want. Runway 30, 1240 degrees. Okay. One, two. Oh, yeah. uh, over there at. Uh, Alright. Pyrex. Okay, so do you want to call it just past the Bermuda or do you want it Pyrex? You can stay here until uh, Pyrex. There's 1012. Falcon 80, Romeo Papa, radar service terminated. Return to CPDLC or left to San Diego. American 39, radar service terminated. Alright. Return to CPDLC. Lost 35, any ice is off, factor's good. 114, 104, we have 9700 available. 26. Seven that. Speeds are posted. Back right here, uh, 15 south of Pyrex, flight level 400. Zero, zero. Five eight two, expect to be near. Crew briefing. Talk about it. ILS Zulu three zero. Good afternoon, Rouge. Eight, you know when eight, eight, we're parking, seven, it's going to be a right eight, turn off. You. They yeah, want us uh, Echo Alpha then April four, four three, so seven, hotel seven, in there. To the FBO. Avionics are set, Max fuel transfers off, lights are good, no passengers, seatbelts, I'm on, you're on, passengers are normal, and then we'll make sure we're at 0.5 or less by touchdown before landing to go. Sounds good. So one the cool thing down here is I can split the views, so it's always good going into an airport to have as much situational awareness as possible, so I'm going to go ahead here and put the approach so we can see what we are doing. Even after we briefed it, always good just to have a backup. And uh, center to Romeo Fox. Just want to double check uh, our discretion to 52988 on the altimeter. What was that call? Yeah, it's to Romeo Fox. Just want to double check 5000 on our discretion and then 88 on the altimeter. Altimeter is 3015. 3015, all right, thanks. 15s. Our two Romeo Foxtrot, cross uh, Bidvy at about 3,000, cleared the Atlas Zulu runway 30 approach. All right, Bidvy at above 3,000, cleared the Atlas Zulu runway 30 citation. Two Romeo Foxtrot and 3050 on the meter, thanks. Here, 919 November Echo. All right, so Bidvy at above 3, cleared the approach. 3,000 in. I'm going to get rid of Capel here. Atlas Zulu runway 30 approach, and eight is the foot Oh, just Presently, we have a uh, hotel with like the Ireland Zulu for runway 30, November 919, November Echo. Oh, we got another guy behind us. I think I see the airport kind of through the clouds. See that kind of? Yeah, I, I got it too. Yeah. Did they take a copy of the gin deck? when we were here the other day? No, they made us, they printed out at the FBO and, okay. they, and they signed because they had that That's new policy. Right. Which, I'm not sure why they changed it. New year, new policy, yeah, I new guess. Year. 2020. Uh, in a f some future videos, it was pretty cool. Me and Brian, we Number went out four, to four, uh, see Citation Grandma and that was a pretty that was a pretty awesome trip. Yeah. Yeah. Some four, really four, cool approaches, center, some, center, some four, really cool four, weather. Three, uh, and some great range one, one, out of three, the uh, two, out of the three plus. plus. Yeah, yeah, we did uh, San Diego, back to White Plains, and still landed with an hour plus hour fifteen of fuel, which was amazing. We did uh, White Plains, Denver. I mean, it was just showing the range on this thing was pretty awesome. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Six one two three. And then that approach to San Diego. That was, yeah, that was cool. Six, one, two, three, we managed to find a rainy day in Southern I know, California. The one We're day we go to California. Oh, yeah, thank you. 
Alpha 7 to 42, radar service terminated. Return to CPDLC, frequency change approved. 482, continue CPDLC. Have a good day. Want to go? Did we add above three? Clear the approach. Bug at 1500. Our 919 November Ecto, clear direct 50, descend pilot suppression, maintain 5000, Bermuda altimeter is 3015. Can you spell that for me? Bravo, India, Delta, Victor, Echo. After that, direct bit V. Number 919, November Echo, that's not on our flight plan. I'm sorry, it should be Tootie. Go direct Tootie. Oh, Tootie. Alright, Tootie Fruity, uh, November 919, November Echo. Did she say Tootie Fruity? She did. That's amazing. What was the altitude for November 919, November Echo? Alright, bit V's good. November Echo, five hundred feet. Discretion maintains 5,000. Altimeter is 3015. Alright, 3015. Pilot's discretion down to 5,000. November 919, November Echo, thanks. Two Romeo Fox Track, contact me at Tower 118.1. 18 1, citation, two Romeo Fox Track, we'll see ya. Wanna go? Bermuda Tower, good afternoon. Citation to number two Romeo Fox Track, Island Zulu 30. November two Romeo Fox Track, Tower, runway 30, continue approach. Surface wind 260 degrees, 13 knots. Continue for runway 30, citation to number two Romeo Fox Track, Island Zulu 30. Two Romeo Fox Track, Tower, runway 30. Ghost signals coming in. Delta 328, contact departure 128, decimal 5. 25, good night, Delta 328. Alright, speed checks below 200 knots, flaps 15. Becoming a social media guy. I love it. Getting rid yeah, of Facebook, Instagram pictures ready to go. See, I've changed you. You're rubbing Brian. off on me, man. Yeah. It is pretty. It is beautiful. Wide slope, gear down. Three green, no red. Below 161, laps 35. Let's see the three green. All right, before landing, landing gear is down, three green, flaps 35. Speed brakes are down both sides. Your speed's coming back, autopilot, you're damn ready to go. Just coming away now. Autopilot. Autopilot. Before landing checks are complete, we're just waiting on landing clearance. November 2 Romeo Foxtrot, we're waiting landing clearance. November 2 Romeo Foxtrot, runway 30, clear to land. Surface wind 260 degrees, 1 tree knot. Clear land 30, station 2 Romeo Foxtrot. November 940, additional traffic departing on the runway, heading to Airbus 320. Roger, Airbus 0, we'll be looking for traffic. I think it was that, that was that King Air, Brian. Oh, was it really? Yeah, I think so. Huh. If you could call it that. The King Air. Five hundred checks. That wind's starting to shift a little bit more. 
Grab a touch more into the wind. Minimum. Ending. Minimum. Plus five. Roger. Bird below. Speed brakes. Ground flaps is deployed. And that's our hello from our Canada, it's uh, 943 holding short. 3 0 ready. Here come 943 Tower, Tower. I'm coming up. Number two, Romeo Fox, short for K, runway via attack, so we have Echo, right turn Alpha, contact ground 124, decimal 5. Echo Alpha 2455, see Romeo Fox, we'll see ya. Good afternoon, citation to Romeo Fox, shot to Echo, right on Alpha for uh, Seoul Aviation. Number two, Romeo Fox, shot ground, taxi Alpha Hotel, apron four. Alpha Hotel, apron four, to Romeo Fox, have a great day. Thank you, same to you, crew. Thank you very much. All right, we're rocking and rolling. Excellent. Everyone, welcome to Bermuda. If you did uh, enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button, greatly appreciate it. And we will see everyone on the next video. Wish everyone uh, many tailwinds and, uh, and safe flying. See ya.